Welcome back, it's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach in Ontario, Canada. We're here to shoot another video. This is sort of our getting to our top end after 52 years of manufacturing. We've sort of creeped up the scale a little bit and evolution of building a little bigger coaches on a, especially in a platinum series. Uh, this is a 26 foot trailer from tip to tip. We're just over a 22 foot floor. It's also eight feet wide, so it's 96 inches. Very similar to in width wise to a lot of our product we built through the late 70s, 80s and 90s till we narrowed our coaches up for 20 years and we've come back to offering different widths in our coaches, getting back to our old standard 96 inches wide. Um, as well as on the inside, this is our sort of more of a winter package where it's insulated floors, thermopane windows, and all that in it as well. So for people that want to stay a lot longer. You know, so your awning's a little bigger. We've got two outside porch lights because there is just so much awning on the trailer as well. It gives you more lighting underneath. Still with all the BIL leveling jacks on it. And that also. Uh, let's take you on the inside and we'll show you on the inside. It's quite interesting. Hey, now we've got you on the inside of this particular coach. Something that makes Taylor coaches pretty interesting to a lot of folks. Uh, and I've said to a lot of my customers over my 43 years of being in it, we're not just a manufacturer building RVs, we are also avid campers. Uh, this particular coach, uh, I get out and we camp in it. It is really R&D, so we research and develop our own product. We decide what we like, what we don't like, what works and what doesn't work. As much as listening to customers and the feedback that's very important, it's also very important as a company to get out and experience our own things and decide what we like and what we don't like in in products that we're buying installing and using on the coaches uh, something i hadn't mentioned in some of our past videos our, our doors themselves we did do an updated screen door here a couple of years ago so it has a handle on the inside and the outside so when you're wanting in and out you always don't have to open the catch it has a better felt all the way around it the whole fit and everything about the doors are much much better and it's nice that you don't always have to open up the uh, the slider to get the screen door open in this particular coach something that we tried to create was a, a living room at the front without doing slides because I don't like slides because of all the issues with them um, so this particular one what we've created up here is sort of a dining room and a couch. So we've got a couch here that will pull out to a bed along with a dinette on the side with a table that's sitting here that is still sort of a portable table. This table can be removed and go outside and sit or it can stay right here. When it goes down to a bed, this is just going to sit down on the side so that this couch can pull out to a bed. Um, it could have been optional with a bunk at the front. We chose not to put a bunk in this particular trailer because it's more for two people traveling is what it will be in the end. You've got lots of storage up above here with more storage up, up above the dinette table over here. We've also created a little bit of another nightstand over here where you can put coffee makers and things like that, getting it out of your way along with the television, that the television's up more in the living room area here for viewing. Uh, this particular coach also has two televisions in it, so if people are deciding to watch different things at different times, there's one in the back and one up at the front here. You also have your stereo built right in. Uh, it all has your charge centers for your USB charge centers for your phones. Uh, something we've also added to this particular coach, it also has your Wi-Fi uh, boost on it. So the Wi-Fi boost is all built right into it. So if you're staying in at certain, uh, if it's uh, campgrounds, pulling into Walmarts, things like that, you've got your antenna here. The antennas now are not crank up. They're, um, what's our name again here, Bob? Uh, Weingard Air 360. Well, it's the Weingard Air 360, but it's also a omnidirectional, omnidirectional antenna. That one eludes me sometimes. So it's an omnidirectional antenna. There is no more crank ups or anything like that. You just push your booster. It's going to boost your antenna. And you also have Wi-Fi on it so that you can 
have a better signal range, pick up lots more out there. And if you're in a park and they lots of times offer Wi-Fi and that, you can now get all their signals so you can stay in touch with friends and family and things like that. Um, still has the fantastic fan in it. Um, Bob, I hopefully caught lots of floor space up at the front here. So it's very open. So if you have people in for entertaining from there, come into the back. Um, it's, it's a nice kitchen, it's well laid out. We've also done it all in our designer colors with the darker countertops and that in the coach. It's got your four burner cooktop, 21 inch oven, and we've got the pantry towards the back here. So the pantry's right in the kitchen area here. Lots of storage up above for all your, your glasses and things like that as well. And in the back here, We've also put a, uh, a makeup mirror. We've got built right into the wall here. So for, for women and stuff for wanting to do makeup, it's built in with a light right above it. You got your built in AC as well. Uh, it's got your fridge at the back here. So it's got a nice size fridge. So it's a, uh, this has a, an eight cube fridge in it. So it has a bigger fridge in it. So we've gone from the 6.5 to an 8.5. So there's a little bit more fridge area in it as well. In the back here, we've created your walk-around queen again as well. So you have uh, more storage being eight foot wide coming down. Nightstands at both ends. Still has the reading lights like I showed, I've showed on one other video. So they're, they have a little night light belt right in them that you can touch and it lets you know where it is. Has a USB charge port right on the bottom to charge your cell phones. So if you want to do a little reading at night and everything without disturbing your partner, you can do that as well. You've got storage all up above. You've got a closet on both sides here. Um, from there, we also have a television back in the bedroom area here. So for somebody that wants to watch TV, if they wanted to go to bed and watch a little TV, being that the uh, antenna is omnidirectional, it picks up a number of stations and you can both be watching different things at different times, which makes it really great. There's storage all underneath the bed at the back here. So there's lots of storage underneath. Something, a feature that we've put into this particular coach that, that we've never done before is now we've gotten into where we have a laundry basket underneath the bed. So for all of us that are out there camping and it's like, what are we doing with our dirty clothes? It's segregated off from the rest of the storage underneath. Now you've got a spot for your dirty clothes and everything when you're out camping. From there in the bathroom, some of the changes we made a little bit in the bathroom. We made the bathroom a little deeper. We put a little ledge in on our tub here, making the trailer. So we've gone from 36 to 39 inches deep and we've made it a little wider this way, which created a little bit more living space on where the toilet's sitting to where the tub is sitting as well. Uh, still all lots of great storage like we've done in lots of them with our medicine cabinet, um, all your storage underneath as well, along with your counter and that. And it's nice and bright inside, being all in, the, in our new designer color interiors as well, which makes the trailer feel very spacious inside. Something that we've also done with this particular coach different is we've done two water tanks. So it's this is our first one off that we've done it with because we've gone to all under non, under slung tanks. So we've got a, a 39 gallon at the back and a 39 gallon at the front. So if you're off the grid camping and everything, because it does have all the solar on it as well, you can pull from one water tank and then when that water tank's empty, you can flick your switch and you can pull from your other second water tank. So being that you're going to music festivals or just traveling where you're not not accessible to getting water and everything, most people would probably probably be pretty accommodated that you could run for you know four or five days pretty comfortably because you're basically carrying, if you fill up both the tanks, almost 80 gallons of fresh water on board, which makes it really tremendous for being off the grid camping and doing that kind of things.
This also has all your thermal pane windows in it, insulated floor, it's all tie vac wrapped on the outside, double insulated on the roof. So for winter use, if you're getting into winter, you're not running your water system the same and everything. It's more blowing out because all the parks are shut down. But you can stay in it, cook in it, sleep in it, and do all those kinds of things. We were traveling down south of that. You could be down to minus 5, minus 10, minus 15, and be very, very comfortable in the trailer. And when we put this particular coach on the scales, uh, it came in at 34.73. So just under the 3,500 pounds, which makes it still a pretty towable coach without being heavy for being a 26-foot coach at the same point. Um, so I hope you guys like where we've sort of moved to, giving people little different options on what we're doing today at Taylor Coach. Uh, we always try to be very innovative from our own experiences and our years at it to try to come up with new ideas that make it really tremendous for owning a Taylor Coach. Uh, watch for more videos down the road. Again, it's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach. Um, we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye now.